Live now on Wisconsin Tonight. If you decide you can no longer take care of your dog or cat, there's likely a local humane society that you can surrender them to. Yes, but if you want a more exotic pet, that's not always an option. <laughs> Which is where Jamie from the Kingdom and Amelia Exotic Animal Rescue in Hobart comes in. And she is here with Rocky and... Sonia. Sonia. Very nice. Right. So tell us about these birds. What's the story behind them? So Rocky and Sonia, um, I was contacted by the family, and uh, they said that their brother was in the hospital and most likely wasn't getting out. So they asked if I could come and get the birds, and he did end up passing away. So they became permanent residents of the rescue. I did rescue them. I brought them back. And um, this is actually their first public program, so oh. they're being very cooperative and well-behaved. I'm very happy about that. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Now, you would never separate them anymore, right? No, they are a pair. They cannot okay. be separated. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what if uh, somebody wanted to adopt them? I mean, how does that all work? Yeah, so when someone wants to adopt one of the animals that we take in, we just have them fill out an adoption form. We request cage photographs, make sure that they've done their research, make sure that they're prepared for what they're getting into. Um, these birds, for example, can live 75 years. Wow. They're a huge time commitment. Um, you know, so, and not only that, but the diets that they need need to be fresh fruits and vegetables, and uh, it just gets to be very expensive. So uh, we just, we like to make sure they're prepared. Um, then we would be able to have them come meet the birds, and if everything went well, then we would have them come pick them up. And that'd break your heart, wouldn't it? I yeah, I've cried several <laughs> times. <laughs> what are some of the other animals? I've been over there. It's a fascinating place. But just tell people some of the other animals you have. Over um, there. Yeah, Kingdom Animalia takes in exotics, and that means anything that's non-native. So we specialize in birds like these guys, reptiles and amphibians. Uh, as well as invertebrates, so that'd be your scorpions, tarantulas, and then small animals. Who would ever give away something like that, huh? I know. <laughs> I don't know. What's usually, the most, I'm sorry, go ahead. Police seizures, usually, for those guys. Oh, sure, that, huh? exactly. What's the most common reason why people surrender their animals? I know in this case, it was their owner's death. Yeah, um, death, um, sometimes police seizures, like I mentioned, as well as you have situations where maybe people are moving and they can't take their pet. Maybe they're going into an apartment. Um, and that's unfortunate. Or sometimes they have children and the animals like this just require so much attention that they just can't give it to them anymore. Um, but oftentimes with things like these guys, they just outlive their owners. Is there any animal you would turn down? Um, I don't take in natives. Those go to the wildlife sanctuary okay. and I don't do dogs and cats. But right. as far as the exotics go, um, no venomous. Okay. Um, but anything that's safe for the public, those animals I would all take in without, without a doubt. What about the community? If we can't maybe adopt one of these animals, how can we get involved with your mission? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, we always accept donations. Those come in really handy. These animals are extremely expensive to care for. Their diets, keeping the building warm enough for them. Um, also too, uh, I am accepting volunteers at the building so people can come help do diets and clean and feed. Um, and that's really rewarding as well. And then I give educational outreach programs. So anybody who's interested in public speaking or getting involved that way, I also have people come and help me on those. Right, I first met you in a local school, mm -hmm. and it was a fantastic presentation. I love doing it. It's my, one of my passions. 